Hi, this is Sean from Jumpbox. In the next couple minutes, I'm going to show you all the steps involved in making a Jumpbox work under Hyper-V. And Hyper-V is Microsoft's virtualization technology. It ships as a part of Windows Server 2008. Uh, you may be familiar with it under the name Viridian. And the disclaimer here is that this is not yet an officially supported virtualization technology for us. Um, it can be made to work, although it just it, it requires some tweaking and it's not officially supported yet. So that being said, let's look at uh, the steps that we're going to go through here in this tutorial. It should take us about five or six minutes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, if you haven't already, we need to download a jump box. And so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the gallery jump box. And so you can go to our website and just download it here. I'm going to assume that you already did that though. So if you have, the next step is to extract it. So let's go here. I've got it on my desktop, so I'm just going to say extract. And we'll fast forward this process. Okay, so as that finishes doing its thing, we have a new directory here, you can see. And the next step for us is to rename the root disk. So we go in here, uh, navigate to the directory we just extracted, disks, data, I'm sorry, root. And we need to rename this from root.hdd and we just need to change it to vhd. Yes. Okay. Next thing we need to do is fire up Hyper-V and create our virtual machine. So let's go in here. And to create a new virtual machine, we say action new virtual machine. And we'll go through, we'll give this thing a name, I'll just call it the Gallery Jump Box. And this one happens to require 256 megs of RAM. Uh, most applications, if they're very simple, like a PHP app, it'll just be 256. Some of the more heavier apps, like the Java apps, can require up to as much as a gigabyte of RAM. Um, and that's something you need to check in the release notes. But you're generally safe to give it 256 to start it's not a fatal thing if you get it wrong you can come back and change it um, we're gonna skip this because this is something we need to change later and we are gonna use an existing virtual hard disk we're gonna point that to the root okay and we want to make sure that we leave this unchecked because we still need to make some tweaks before we fire it up Okay, so there it is. Uh, the next thing on our list, we need to edit a few settings in the VM. So that's selected, we just say right click, settings. And the two things we're going to change here is we're going to add a network adapter and then we're going to add that data disk that's not yet attached. So let's first add the network adapter. We'll choose the only one that's not selected yet. Uh, say apply. And that's good, but now we need to get rid of this old one here that we're not using. So say remove that guy. Now we just need to go in here and add a disk. So we'll say add. Uh, that's right. Browse to where our data disk is. And click apply. Okay, so we should be good to go. Uh, the last thing for us to do on our list here is to boot the VM. So let's go ahead and say start. And let's connect to it. And so this will give us the console screen as it's coming up. And if you're familiar with Jumpbox, then this is going to look really familiar because uh, it's just it's the standard screen you'd see in Parallels or Fusion as it comes up. And this may take a minute or so, so let's just skip to the end here. All right, and so again, if you've used Jumpbox, this should look really familiar. Uh, this is just the screen it gives you once it's booted up. We take this IP address uh, and we go open a web browser. And this is just the single screen of configuration that we need to complete. And so I'll just give it my email address got the time zone, make up a password, yeah, check the license agreement and click configure. 
And there you go, you can see that at this point we have an instance of Gallery that's already configured and ready to use. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the blog. Uh, once again, this has been the tutorial to show you how to get running, uh, how to get a Jumpbox running on Hyper-V, and I hope it was helpful.